Welcome back. Thank you so much for being here. This video is going to be a little different. My son recently started playing baseball and so we're just busy in the evenings doing that. And today is an extra busy day uh, because today we had our homeschool co-op. We literally just got home with a grocery haul. I'm going to show you our grocery haul. We got to eat real quick and we got to get out the door and head back to town for baseball. We live 45 minutes away from town. We live 45 minutes away from basically anything. So we were already out at our homeschool co-op and then we had to come all the way back in and then we're going to go back out. So that's just mountain life. You know, part of the things on this channel is mountain life. And when you live in the mountains, you live really far away from everything. If you relate, leave me a comment down below and let me know. We're going to jump into this grocery haul. Okay, we're going to start down here on this end. We have a um, 18 eggs. When you see egg cartons like this around my house, it's because we have chickens and they lay eggs also, but they're just not producing a super lot yet. So, and I like regular eggs. Um, we got our oven set because we are going to be having these Ninja Turtle pizzas tonight. I got to get them in the oven very quick so we can get out the door. Got two Ninja Turtle pizzas. They were five sixty two a piece, and my daughter is crazy about Ninja Turtles right now, so she picked that out. Sweet potatoes, tater tots, the uh, chicken breast tenderloins for the grill. We have a few different breads here. We have some hot dog buns for hot dogs. We have some of the deli Italian bread, which I'm going to try to make some sandwiches on. Then our regular loaf of bread for toast. We have Tropicana Caribbean Sunset. Some bananas. We went in store grocery shopping today, so my children found some things. Um, this is a Starburst Sparkling Ice, but from what I can tell, we, we've had sparkling ice before and they don't have dyes in them. From what I could tell, these don't have dyes in them either, which I love that, that they don't have dyes in it. It's also the reason why I like the Caribbean Sunset because it doesn't have any dye in it. Uh, blueberries, tri color coleslaw. Um, our creamer, sweet and creamy creamer, gallon of milk, two cucumbers, uh, this is a personal watermelon, my daughter's been begging for watermelon, they don't have the full size yet, so we just decided to go with a personal, a uh, pack of beef hot dogs, pack of bacon, two things of sandwich meat, we've got black forest ham and smoked turkey breast. This is my weakness right now. These are the best little Debbie cake right now. They're called birthday cake cream pies. Oh, I'm in love. Then we got some mini apple pies. We have a couple things of chips here. I didn't get my original chips today. I didn't get the sour cream and onion. I got cheddar and sour cream and some wavy hickory barbecue. But I do have some sour cream and onion in the cabinet. <laughs> um, we live in Tennessee, and I said, we can't live in Tennessee and not try the Dolly Parton cake. So we got the Dolly Parton fudgy brownies, and we got the Dolly Parton chocolate cake. And I'm going to put this Dolly Parton creamy buttercream icing on top. And then we got two things of drinks. We got the 24-pack. Oh dear, I'm going to have to drop that. 24 pack of Sam's Cola and a 24 pack of Dr. Thunders. And some of our non-grocery items that we picked up today was I got this sports um, face cream, face sunscreen. I've never tried it before, but I'm hoping that will be good for all of us, especially my son, since he's going to be out on the baseball field a lot. Two things of propane for our grill. I never buy paper plates, but I thought if there was any season in life, other than having a newborn baby, that I needed paper plates, this is the season of life I need it. 
and paper towels. I, don't, I hardly ever buy paper towels either. And so I got paper towels and paper plates. And then we got some bleach. now to the game oh well, not the game it's a scrimmage but it's kind of like a game <laughs> we got daddy driving got our pizza some of us got some cucumbers only ava and i like cucumbers but uh, at least we got a little bit of greens there's our baseball player he's ready for some baseball time It's the next evening now, and I'm going to put away these supplies and groceries that I didn't get to put away from the day before. We're about to go through the same routine, just at a different time, and we haven't been out all day. We've actually been home on this day, and we did our schoolwork, so when we're doing schoolwork, obviously that's going to keep me from getting things done, too. Here I am putting some of our eggs into a cart, and some of our chicken eggs into a cart, and Playing sports is all new for us. It's something that we are not used to. We're not used to actually leaving our house a whole lot. We have stayed home mostly, just uh, do go out when we have things we need to do, go get groceries, go to appointments or birthday parties or whatever, go to church, but we do not leave a whole lot. So now that my son is playing baseball, it's totally different because we're going out two to three days a week for baseball practice and then soon it's going to start games it's a new season of life that's keeping us pretty busy but my son is really enjoying it and so we are very happy for him and happy for the season that we are in looking forward to watching him play some baseball and just have fun making friends <music>
it's a beautiful thing in life to see seasons change, both in the physical world and in the spiritual world. And right now in our life, that's exactly what's happening. Things have changed so much in the physical world because it's springtime, so everything's in bloom. Our trees are blooming. The grass is blooming. We have flowers everywhere. The warm weather is coming in. Sports is happening. Just different things happening in the physical world. And in the spiritual world, the seasons have changed too because like I had said in a couple videos back, my husband has recently given his heart back to the Lord and that just changed things so much in our life. We had such a very long season of loss and sadness and now we're in a season of joy and restoration and I'm just so thankful to God that he gives us different seasons of life and that nothing ever stays the same. If you're feeling discouraged in the season of life they're in, don't be discouraged. Get in your word and focus on the good things. Focus on what God tells us his promises and there is a change in seasons. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1 says, to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. So be encouraged that if you're in a season of life that's really hard right now, God's working things out for your good, and the season will pass eventually. It reminds me of a song that my my grandmother, she was my grandmother by marriage, but she would sing this song called God on the Mountain, and I'm just going to read you a little bit of it as a poem. It says, Life is easy when you're up on a mountain, and you've got peace of mind like you've never known. But then things change and you're down in the valley. But don't lose faith, child, for you're never alone. For the God on the mountain is still God in the valley. When things go wrong, my God will make them right. And the God of the good times is still God in the bad times. Oh, the God of the day is still God in the night. I'm going to pack us up a bag of drinks and snacks to take with us to the ball field and to have after the ball field. And then we're just going to head out on our way to have our evening of baseball. I thank y'all so much for hanging out with us on these two evenings in the loft. And I hope that you all have been encouraged. You all are an encouragement to me when you comment, when you like, and when you share, when you subscribe. And I hope that you all will have a blessed evening. Thank you so much for being here. Remember to serve the Lord with your whole heart and serve your family. See y'all next time.